What if you wanted to create a clip with a model in a specific location and you wanted some control over how the model looked? And not only that, you were very specific as to what the model is wearing. Well, no worries. Just head on over to klingai.com where you can sign in and do exactly that. You will have to sign into Kling AI and there is a basic free forever model. There's also Standard Pro and Premiere. I'm using the Standard during this video and the Standard is missing a feature that is very helpful that we can talk about in other videos, but I'll point it out in a few moments. If you're not interested in monthly or yearly subscriptions, you can also buy credits. To get started, go to the homepage of klingai.com and click AI Images to get you started. We'll talk about creating great text to images in another video, but right now, we're heading over to AI Virtual Try-On, which is new at Kling. Here you'll see the model settings such as gender, age, and skin tone. For this video, let's use a younger female with a darker skin tone. You'll want to use your prompt skills to create the video, and this will include the mood of the model, as well as the location of the model, and maybe what the model is doing. Let's start off with a purple-haired female in the mountains walking down a path with a smile on her face. To generate this model, it'll cost 10 credits. And that's for two versions. You have the option for one, two, three, or four. And of course, aspect ratios. Here we're using vertical three, four. And here are the two versions. I like the one on the right. And when you roll over the subject, you you get four options. AI outfit, which we'll talk about in a moment. Upscaling, in other words, if you wanna increase the size of the image. Expand, which means if you wanted more headroom or room along the sides of the image, you could expand the image and then bring to life. We're going to use two of these four for our project. First, let's select our AI outfit. First thing we'll do is select our model right here and then we'll go down to uploading our outfit. And I have one pre-selected. Let's open it up. And again, you have the option of one, two, three, or four outputs. Let's stick with two. And, and click Generate. And there we go, two versions. Now let's roll over and again, we have our four options. This time, let's bring the subject to life. Here we are in the AI videos creative space. We have an option of the original Kling 1.0, 1.5, and the new 1.6, which is a little bit better. We have our image here. We will add our own prompt model it's a simple prompt and simple prompts get basic results but i think it's perfect for this demonstration the first setting is between creativity and relevance the next one is standard mode and professional for higher quality let's stick with standard mode for this demonstration how long five seconds or ten seconds and again Let's stick with one for this presentation. If you want control of the camera movement, you'll have to go to 1.5 again. And then if you have negative prompts, such as corrections or something you definitely don't want in the video, there is the option to do this, especially if you find images tend to render a certain way that is not within your vision. Next, click Generate. And there, as you see, the model's wearing the clothing that I uploaded. I've created other models too, as you can see. Going back to images, here I chose the model on the right and I uploaded the exact same clothing for this result. Now, if you want a custom model, 
you can click on the custom model option if you have the pro or premier versions of Kling AI. This will give you a more consistent model that you can use over and over again. Perhaps it's yourself. We have more Kling AI videos coming. And of course you can catch us over at the Creative AI Show every Monday where we are two creative guys talking AI.